I say, Ready? hello, caller? Yes. yes. Hello, caller. Good morning to you, and how may we assist you? Hi, you have one of my boys in, in that office in there, and I just wanted to also um, thank uh, the professor uh, for, for the things that he's done. He's even inspired me to try to continue on, and that failure is, is not a stop, just to continue. So I appreciate you just giving me inspiration thank you. on... Um, uh, not only for my family, but for me also. Very good. I, I, let's see. Let's look around. We have one <laughs> boy in here. Could that have been your mother, Marcel? Yes. I think I recognize her yes, voice. Marcel left with my keys, so I cannot join you all in the, uh, in the uh, office today. Well, and, and tell us why you can't. And where are you right now, girlfriend? I'm loading the truck up to uh, clean up from the food giveaway. Yeah. So we had families volunteer their time. So yes. this is a great family here. Wonderful. Mom, mom was right out there just sweating with the rest of us. <laughs> and thank you for your remarks. I know that you, you see, she, she's the lady that came in, doctor. Yes, And yes. came in to, and listened to your, in, to your speech. So, um, Ms. Sanders, thank you. Thank you. Th that was wonderful. And do you have anything further to say? No, I just, I just really appreciate what you've done for our city. I, I just really gave us. Yes. Cool. Okay. Very good. Thank you, ma'am. Well, thank you. Now get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, thanks so much. Thank yeah. you. Just thank you. Okay. Yeah. Marzell, yeah. wasn't that nice of mom to do that? Bless her. That is so good. Yes. And, and that was, you know, going back to my, me flunking out, you know, that was part of my, part of my drive was, it, it started with hope, where I hoped that I would do good and I planned to do good, but some of the um, foundational level skills that I needed, they just weren't there. Um, they, they weren't. Um, but I worked hard. I, I went to community college once I flunked out of uh, Kettering. I uh, went to uh, community college, Oakland Community College, to make up for the classes that I failed. And then I applied for readmission. And um, the university readmitted me once I got passing scores. And, in that coursework that I that I suffered in, and I and I did well. I went on and graduated and became an engineer, but it was always in the back of my mind that there was much more in life, much what more in society. What kind of engineer, by the way? Yes, this is good. Whenever I graduated, I was hired by Ameritech, um, and Ameritech is now AT and T. Absolutely. Yeah. So we yeah. might as well say AT and T. Yeah. I was hired at AT and T as a um, equipment engineer. So. I did planning for uh, networks, network provisioning, uh, phone lines, and did and you the like. You didn't design phone units at all. No, then, for at, I had a brief stint in a group called Intelligent Networks Planning and Engineering, and in that uh, in that capacity, I worked on Ameritech's Privacy Manager program uh, in their E nine one yes E nine one one platform. Yeah, so I have no idea what that means. You know the E911. Oh, right? yes, that's, uh, yeah. that was right next to E992. Right, right. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, no dummies here, sir. No, hey, no, no dummies here. Far from it. Not at all. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so you know, to, to have flunked out of a university, a uh, great university such as Kettering, and to be afforded a second chance, and now I can even say a third chance because I'm back at Kettering University as a, mm -hmm. as a business professor, uh, this is a great testimony of the power of God, the power mm -hmm. of faith, the power of uh, diligence and hard work. Mm -hmm. And that's what uh, I, I encourage And I'm going to interrupt you again, and not yes, to be rude, but I no, want, no. we are on WFLT, one of yes. the finest gospel stations probably in all of uh, the United States, certainly mm -hmm. in Michigan, and absolutely in Flint. Yes. So uh, I want the audience to know how spiritually based you are. So yes. maybe just for a, a couple of seconds before we get back to the kids, because I want them to tell our audience what they're thinking of doing as a career. Okay. And I'm going to try to tie that into the preparation or lack of it that you had yes. in, in your own words Definitely. for college, because I think we might be at least attempting at our school yes. to get folks prepared for that. Yes, absolutely. So touch a little bit, uh, yes. um, Dr. Please, on yes. your mm -hmm. uh, spiritual foundation. Absolutely. Yes, from a, yes, from a faith uh, standpoint, you know, I credit and I attribute uh, God, uh, God the Father, for all of my successes. Um, I even credit uh, God for being graceful uh, through my through my failure. Because if I had not have failed so early in life, I wouldn't have a testimony today that uh, is able to change the minds and lives of young people. So He was with me then, through the good and and the bad. 
Yeah, I sensed yesterday, of course, and in prior conversation when we did a little tour of the school, your um, compassion and sensitivity to, the, to uh, you know, the situation we have in Flint. Yes. And, uh, I know we have a call. Let me kind of finish this. So, Jess, thank you so much. And uh, I know that uh, your heart is clearly, without question, in the right place. And yes. We're, we're very pleased to have an association with you, sir. Yes, sir. And with that as a dropping, on a, as a drop back, um, Jess, and we're taking another call then, I guess. Hi, somebody. How may we assist you? Hi, my name is Carol. And my gift is uh, I love children, like the two-year-olds and the three-year-olds and the four-year-olds. I teach them how to read. Reading, math, spelling, and uh, discipline. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's you, what I said. Yeah, you, you teach your children those uh, skills. No, I teach the community kids. Oh, I see. Excuse me. Yeah, that yeah. I couldn't hear because for a moment it's sometimes I don't it's difficult. I have difficult. no kids. I teach my community kids. Okay. Where do you yeah. do that at? Flint, Michigan. Right, but a specific school? No. I just teach them in the streets, sir. Okay, all right. Well, that's yeah, good. Yeah, that. I don't. Yeah. That's that's probably that's even that. better because oh, yeah. it might well, mean that's more out there. Better. Yes, ma'am. Some of these moms don't teach their kids. Tell them go home and going out. Okay, um, doctor, right. you want to make a remark, a comment on that? Comment? Oh yes. Yeah. You know, community engagement has to happen at all levels. Um, so yes, it, it, yes, ma'am. So it, it's great to hear about individuals that take it upon themselves I to. Tell them to go home and get out the street. Go home and read a book. Uh, there you go. That's Perhaps good. Because with books, reading books helps them to fly. It helps them to and imagine go things. Home and go home. That's right. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, oh, yeah. Thank you. Listen, thank you for listening. Uh, we appreciate that very well, I kindly. I grew up in Detroit, Michigan, so I know about kids. I grew up in Detroit. I live in the Flint area. So okay. I know about the ghetto kids. All right. Well, you, you're doing all you can then as a, as yeah. a citizen to, to help uh, today's youth. And for that, yeah. we must honor you for that. And we thank you very and kindly. I think they call me crybaby. Yeah. Yeah, and, I, you know, and, I, and I think one of the things yeah. that, yeah, you know, one of the things that I found to be very um, important is the labels, the labels that uh, we give our children. So well, we I got, think, we gotta love them. yes, and the labels that we should give our young people in the cities of Detroit, Flint, uh, Saginaw Pontiac and some of the areas that may be economically repressed the best label that we could give them as scholars or they're the leaders they're the leaders leaders of tomorrow so we need to <coughs> absolutely and we need to and we need to look at and credit Flint and and Michigan as the birthplace the birthplace of the automobile so we need to find and develop the innovative and the ingeniousness that that our young people have to offer and we need to bring some more, a lot of jobs to Flint. Yes. Because people don't have transportation to work. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. And we're doing Absolutely. a, right, uh -huh. and, the, and the wonderful thing that it seems that we're all, that we all have in common is that we understand that as we um, equip our children with the skills and the intelligence and the character that they need, they'll be able to create industry and, and Flint. Well, sir, what's your name? Yes, I'm Dr. I'm Dr. Clemon Morer. Well, Dr. Cleon Moore, my boys, I brought my boys here from Detroit to Flint, and my boys live in Texas. There's a lot of opportunities for young children in Texas. Yes, yes. Yes. Absolutely. Fantastic. Absolutely. Thank you. Goodbye. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you. you again, young thank lady. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, yes, yes. So we, we, we just keep working. We just keep working hard, and... Uh, and back to God, God being the center and, and the purpose and the reason, you know, he, uh, he sent me back here to, to build. So when I graduated from GMI, I went to Chicago and I lived there for 14 years. I, I, Where, by the way? Yeah, I was, yes, I lived in the south suburbs. I lived Which at, one? I lived in Markham for a while. And, um, Anywhere near Roseland? Yes, Thank very you. close to Roseland. Yes, sir. That was sir. the hometown. Roseland. <laughs> Roseland. Yes. Sure did. Yes. Sure. Oh, yes. In fact, my, my wife, she worked for uh, Chicago uh, Public Health Department, and she worked at several agencies in the Roseland community. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Uh, so I met my wife there, and we, um, we were blessed to have four sons, and God called me back. He called me back in 2011 uh, to come to Michigan. Uh, in fact, the words for me were, go to Michigan and build. 
Uh, and I'm looking at the opportunity to build young people, mm -hmm. uh, build the foundation, and build Kettering's uh, business department. Well, let me let me touch, uh, if I could, as I want to get a little more out of our young folks here. Yes. Um, you, uh, we didn't really talk about how many pairs of shoes you gave away yesterday. So yes, why doesn't somebody named Dr. Moore mention that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yesterday there were 50, 50 brand new pairs of uh, Nike Nike sneakers. Okay. And the recipient thereof was uh, Dejeuner, honey. What about your, um, what color did you get? I got gray, black, and white. Sounds pretty. In fact, I saw them on your feet. Sure did. Okay, did you wear them home at all? Or did you wear them? I know you didn't wear them today, thank heavens, because they'd have been. Hi, sir. Glad to see you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, and uh, gray, white, and black. And you going to wear them to school Monday, maybe? Or save them for later on? Yeah. Might say, don't let your mother wear them now. No, don't let that rascal wear them. Okay. <laughs> I hope she's listening. Okay. Marzell, what was your color, sir? Blue. They were solid blue, weren't they? They, they really blue. 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 They were a little black in there. Yeah, that's very handsome shoes. Now, kids, Dacian, I'm going to ask you first what, when you grow up, do you intend to be? Doctor, hang on to this answer. There's a in the car. Okay. okay. Well, I want to be a doctor. Uh, and she's talking medical doctor. I said, hey, I said, whoa, girl. And I said, boy, you better, young lady, love your sciences, because that is loaded with, with, you know, you've got to understand science inside biology and anatomy, physiology, and on and on and on. So that's such a great uh, goal that you have. So great, so great. And now we'll pop to the other side of the table. Marzell Richmond, tell us, sir, what you intend to become. And what particular branch of law enforcement? Sheriff. Uh, like, like like the, the deputy, deputy sheriffs here in Flint, Flint. yeah. And your brother is also in heading that way, but he's going to be a U.S. Marshal. U.S. Marshal. Uh, Those are nice goals. Nice goals. Both will require college education, of course. Yes. And these guys and this young lady naturally will have to head that way. So that's marvelous. And Doctor, we do our very best to prepare kids for that. Uh, uh, evacuation from high school to <laughs> college, and in yes. fact, we will not, and I think I shared this with you, and I certainly have shared it with the audience, we will not graduate a student from our high school unless they've already been accepted by a college, so we're, we're very intent. That's our niche, probably, in, in, in Flint here, is some right. college preparation, yes, and, and we do pretty good. We've been having some awards through U.S. News and World Report and some others that the audience has heard many times over. But um, your, because your remarks then are very cogent, sir, in the fact that, you know, you, you indicate that you were not prepared. Well, we're trying to make these guys, uh, not make them, but encourage them to be strongly prepared. Absolutely. I've got to wind it up. Jesse's giving me the high sign over there. Now, yeah. Paul Herring, we had a conversation last time, and you asked me to use the Z's. Do you recall, sir? Oh, wow, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I'm going to Z you to death here, buddy. Nice! <laughs> okay. nice. All right, folks, wherever you are, are you looking at a blog somewhere? Are you perhaps walking your dog? Are you cutting a log, or are you just walking around in a fog? If you are, perhaps you are waiting, watching zooming zebras zigzag through a zone of zombies eating zucchini with zero zygotes zapped with zinc while playing a zippered z Zirconium zither by a Zulu in Zaire floating in a Zeppelin headed for a Zodiac Zoo in Zimbabwe or Zanzibar. If you are somebody, look at somebody and say, Ooh, that is some kind of school. Bye.